Hello, in this video I'm going to be shooting some glasses and goggles that are commonly used in Airsoft with this ASG Scorpion Evo. I'm going to be using Blaster 0.2 gram BBs, giving a few single shots and then a few short bursts. This is by no means a scientific test, so don't count it as some kind of safety test, okay? So this is just me shooting a few BBs at a few glasses and goggles, okay? These are ESS ice. They are ballistic rated glasses that surpass all UK and US safety specifications and have an anti-scratch lens coat. These are the ESS Advanced V12s. They're a full seal goggle and again meet and exceed all UK and US safety requirements. They also meet military ballistic impact requirements. They've got an anti-fog and anti-scratch lens coating and again I'll be shooting these without the frames on. Next up we have the Bolly Trackers. They're full seal glasses, but to make them proper full seal, you really need to use the elastic head strap that comes with them. They do meet EN 166 safety specifications in the UK, but they're only rated for low energy impact resistance. They are not ballistic. They do have an anti-scratch and anti-fog lens coat in there. These are ESS ice. They're ballistic rated glasses that surpass all UK and US safety specifications and have an anti-scratch lens coat. In. These are Millforce mesh goggles, they're available all over the internet from eBay to Amazon and other airsoft retailers, they've got no safety rating on them and no markings on them. Now due to the quick change spring system on the Evo, I've just changed out my usual M100 sight legal spring for the most powerful spring that I've got in my spares box which is a JG M130. Luckily the Evo allows you to do this in a few seconds. And as you can see on the chrono, it's averaging around about the 407 FPS on 0.2 gram BBs. You can see on the revision saw fly where the BBs have struck, the white marks on there are nothing permanent. They're just wiped off with a damp cloth and there's no cracks or anything majorly bad that's happened to these lenses, so all good. Again with the ESS Advanced V12s, just some white marks where the BBs are struck. This is again nothing permanent, just wiped off with a damp cloth, no cracks or anything. Everything good with these two. The Bolly Trackers fared up quite well considering they're not ballistic rated. You can see an indent where the BBs repetitively struck the lens. Uh, this has probably rendered the glasses useless, but they're going to save your eyesight. And uh, you can probably see in the, in the slow motion that the BBs tend to bounce off rather than the previous two lenses where the, the BBs fragmented. This may be because the lenses might be a uh, softer material. There were a few white BB marks on the ESS ice. I've really wiped them off in this picture though, so uh, you can't really see, but there's no cracks and there's nothing wrong with these glasses whatsoever. They took a punishment from 400 plus FPS, all good. As you can see, the mesh goggles had a bad time. I know the chances are pretty slim that you're gonna get shot that close up that many times at 400 plus FPS. If it does happen, you're gonna lose an eye. 
Uh, I can't speak for all mesh goggles, obviously, but the mesh on these just seem very weak. And as you can see, it's also starting to come away from the frame, which is not good at all. These goggles are now useless, obviously. So in conclusion, the ballistic rated goggles and glasses are gonna be absolutely fine for airsoft use. They're gonna protect your eyes, they're gonna last, they're gonna take a lot more punishment than what I've just given them today. Yeah, the body trackers are gonna be absolutely fine for airsoft use as well. Even though they're not ballistic rated, they're still gonna protect your eyesight absolutely fine. The bonus is they can either be used as a pair of glasses or with that elastic strap, they're a full seal goggle as well. So yeah, highly recommended too. The mesh, well, I was quite disappointed by the mesh really. I was quite surprised at how easily the BBs penetrated. What was it, about four or five shots and the BBs were through? They just seemed very poorly made to me. Obviously they're mass produced in China or Hong Kong or wherever. There are a lot better mesh goggles on the market if you're looking for mesh goggles check out hero shark his mesh goggles are rated to over 500 fps and a lot better quality maybe if you want to risk your eyesight perhaps check out a pair of these who's to say that they're all made the same that they're all that weak there might be better ones on the market so uh don't take this as gospel perhaps decide for yourself really but I don't recommend these type of mesh goggles anyway. Well, thanks for watching. Remember, this is not a scientific test at all. There's gonna be loads of different factors that are gonna affect how strong and how weak the goggles or glasses are. This is just me shooting a few BBs randomly at a few pairs of goggles and glasses. So decide for yourself, really, and stay safe. Cheers.